Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another what if scenario but before we start today guys I just want to say a massive massive huge thank you as we hit 5,000 subscribers the other day so I was actually um, watching the sub count and I know some of you were as well as I was um, getting messaged by some of you guys so yeah I watched it hit the 5,000 mark it was about midnight but I stayed up to um, check it out and yeah we hit it literally only a few hours after the vi last video came up. So, yeah, wow. Just a massive thanks to everyone who subscribed in that short time because it really accelerated after that video. So, yeah, just a huge thanks to um, everyone who subscribed recently to help us get to the goal. And also a massive thank you for everyone who um, has stuck around as well because it's much, much appreciated and it means a lot to me. And we've it, we've got really far now. Like, this is this is absolutely crazy. Like, just I cannot thank you guys enough. It is absolutely amazing like i never thought i'd even get to 1000 to be honest but yeah 5000 that's pretty crazy but yeah let's just just, just keep going let's see how high we can go but um yeah there we go so yeah just a massive massive thanks to everyone it is absolutely amazing how far we've gone i do have a, a special video planned for 5000 so i've got that in the works right now i'm still uh making a few objects ready for that but i've got a special system planned that i um haven't um or haven't um talked about in quite a while and yeah, I haven't actually made a just a system just with no theme in quite a long time for a video. So, yeah, I'll be doing that. But anyways, into today's video, guys. We are doing a what-if scenario, like I said. And we're going to be doing what if the inner and outer system masses and radiuses switch. So we're going to give Mercury, like, the mass of Jupiter and Venus, the mass of Saturn. So we're basically swapping the masses of the inner and outer planets. So I want to say a quick thanks to... um. PDT Mark because he sent this um, request in. So, um, yeah, so um, this idea um, is all his idea. But yeah, we're going to be doing it into um, today's video. So, Mercury, we're going to be starting off with you. So, this will probably take a bit of a while to uh, set up, but um, we can um, do it um, all on camera here. So, yeah, we've got one Jupiter. So, we need to uh, obviously give Mercury the mass of Jupiter. It's mainly the mass is what we mostly need because the radius doesn't really affect much. From my experience, the mass is what you need. So is that going to do anything? Well, since we since we are swapping the mass and radius, I guess we can do it. So it's six seven seven, I think, is it? What is Mercury? It's uh, oh Jupiter six nine nine. Okay, so it goes uh, there we go. So six nine nine one one like that. Oh, and it's made it bigger. Ah, oh, that's nice. So we go one one Jupiter mass. Okay, so there we go. So that is a Mercury Jupiter now. So pretty crazy stuff. And then we have got Venus. So we're doing the same, but with Saturn this time. So there we go. So, so I go all the way to Venus here. Place the Saturn there, just so we know. Okay, so Venus is 95.2 Earths. Or oh, Saturn is not. So, yeah, 95.2. There we are. So, yeah, turn that off. And then Saturn is 58,232. So, we'll go uh, 58 to... Nope, not 2. 232, like that. Voila. So that's a Venus Saturn now. Oh, this is going to be crazy once we save this. So there we go. Now, Earth, we are going to be basing off Uranus here. So there we go. We're going to place Uranus in here. The regular ugly one. So 14.5 Earths. Okay, so 14.5, like so. And the radius is 25,362. So let's turn this off. Then go 25362 like that. There we go. So that is a Uranus Earth. Oh god, <laughs> this is gonna get crazy. Uh, and then Mars is gonna be getting Neptune. So there we are. So here is Mars. Perfect. So Neptune is 17.1 Earths. So there we are. So there we go. Let's go 17.1 like that. And then 24,622. Okay. So 24.622. Voila! So that is a Neptune, a Neptune Mars there. Oh, that is looking very fine with that massive, massive size. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and throw a saved in. I'm going to call it um, Swapped Masses. There we go. Just call it that. Swap Mass. There we go. So let's save it as a new simulation. All right, so the inner solar system is now done. So moving on to the outer system, we're going to have to have a Mercury-sized Jupiter. This is going to be pretty interesting. So, yeah, it's going to make it really, really small. So, 4.49 moons. Oh, dear. So, Jupiter is going to be absolutely tiny. So, 4.49. And then Mercury is 2,440. I always remember Mercury for some reason. There we go. So, like that. There we go. Two thirds. That's perfect. So, look at the little baby Jupiter. Ah, look at that. <laughs> it's a little baby Jupiter there. Okay. So, then we move on to Saturn. So, we're going to give this a mass of Venus. So, yeah, Venus is at 62. 
0.2 moons. So there we go. So we're going to go to moons, then go 62.2 moons. So that's going to make it nice and small. And then the radius is 6,052. So we go turn that off and go 6,052. So we're going to make it smaller and smaller here. So um, there's that done. But definitely we'll do a few scenarios with this system. Well, we'll have to do like auto orbit and then turn off all velocities just to see uh, all the different scenarios. Okay, Uranus is just one Earth. So one Earth. Now see if I can remember uh, if it's six nine. Is it six nine? Oh, I can no it's six it's six three something. I'm sure it is. Six three Yeah, six three seven one. I can't remember Earth's one all the time. Okay, so do that one. Here we go. Yeah, Mercury I always remember with the um radius, but I can never remember the Earth's radius. So that's one Earth Uranus now. And then lastly, Neptune. Since um we can't swap it this the only other planet to swap with is Mars. So Mars so we can't do any planets further than Neptune or anything because there's no other inner planets to swap them with, so... Right, anyway, so yeah, 8.73 moons. Yeah, Mars is one I can never remember. So, um, moons, so we go 8.73 like that. There we go, so that's nice and small. And then 3,390, so... Uh, lock that, and then go 3,390. And there we go, so that is a Mars-Neptune there. So, there we go, so the whole solar system has been swapped around now, so... My predictions is the dwarf planets are going to have a nasty time with all of the heavy planets in the uh, in the solar system here. So, yeah, we've got a pretty big Earth. Let's actually see if we can spot the other planets from Earth, maybe. Maybe that will... Can we see them anywhere? No, I'm not seeing anything. That's a huge Earth. So Mercury's over there. I can see Venus. I can actually see Venus from here. If we are... You can just about see that dot if we uh, head over this way. We can just head this way. I, I think I could see Venus from Earth. I don't know. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I could see a little dot there. But, um, all right. Anyways, let's click play and let's see what carnage happens. So we're going to slow down time. We're going to be keeping an eye on the orbits. The inner solar system is in massive trouble, I think, because I think that one Jupiter mass Mercury, that's going to cause a lot of issues for the inner solar system. And actually, let's throw the asteroid belt in as well. Let's just see um, if anything will happen to that. So there we go. Asteroid belt is in here. All right, so there we go, and play. Let's see what happens. So we're going to have to speed time up. Hopefully it will run at a decent pace here. So those orbits are going to wobble, I think. Yeah, look, the outer solar system, since all the gas giants, or the I'd say the small giants now, or, or gas, yeah, gas minis, I guess. I don't know what they call them. I'm guessing all these guys, since all their orbits are swapped, these guys are now going to be the ones with the wobbly orbits. And as um, some of you may know as well, if you sometimes have an object with a lot of mass next to the parent objects, then all the objects further away are a little more unstable. If you've um, seen the uh, moon, the updated moon system videos, that's why I've never ever put a uh, mat object with a lot of mass right next to the planet, is because otherwise it causes all the uh, things to wobble. So, yeah, there is that. But let's um, continue now. Look at this. So Jupiter is actually smoking up. It doesn't have enough mass. It looks like it's actually uh, smoking up. Mercury's orbit is changing, that's normal, it usually does that, even as a rocky planet. But is anything else happening? I'm guessing as well, out here, maybe some of the objects could be a little weaker around the orbits, but right here in the inner solar system, the sun has much stronger gravity here, obviously because we're closer to it. So the sun looks like it's actually keeping these planets in order. It looks like, like these guys, like, yeah, that's one mass of Jupiter, but it looks like it's the sun is just so large in mass that it's actually keeping all of these guys together, no problem. Like, I guess all these objects out here, they're wobbling, but they're still orbiting the sun. It's just their orbits are quite unstable here. But it seems that this, even if you swap the mass of the inner and outer planets, the system would still be stable by the looks of it. Maybe tidal forces would be different if Venus got too close to Earth, but I'm not sure about that because there is still quite a big difference. So, I, yeah, I really don't think um, that would happen there. But overall, I think this would this actually works because obviously, this, like I said, the sun, that one massive sun is just so overpowering when you've only got one Jupiter. Like, this guy may have one Jupiter mass and be the most massive planet, but it's still so close to the sun which has 1,048 Jupiters, that the Sun is still the dominant um, object in here, even with this uh, menace here still quite close to the Sun. So, this version of Mercury is definitely not as dangerous as the real-life version of Jupiter, or the normal-sized Jupiter, because that's further out in the system, and it affects more objects out there with like the asteroid belt and stuff. But since this is nowhere near an asteroid belt, and it's really close to the Sun, this thing is kept in order, and it won't cause any problems, it seems. The only thing that this object's probably really causing, or is probably the main contender, maybe Venus is doing it as well, but 
all these orbit or, or all these orbits wobbling this is probably caused by mercury since it has the most mass but yeah there we go so that is scenario one done so to conclude if you were to swap the uh, mass and radius of the inner and outer planets nothing would happen apart from a f few wobbly orbits the system still stays in one piece even the asteroid belt is completely fine right so now let's move on to another scenario so um let's go to um uh, where was I called it? I called it, yeah. So, there we go. So, swapped mass. Here we go. So, let's go back in here. Now, we're going to go... What other tools can we do? So, we've already done like, the main sort of um, theory. Reverse time. Hold all rotations. Could shrink the system. Yes, yeah, shrink the system. Maybe this will um, do something. So, we're going to make this a, a little smaller. So, now Uranus is in the orbit of where Jupiter was at one point. So, maybe... With all the objects closer to the sun, maybe that will uh, cause any changes. So let's see here. So let's uh, keep an eye on the orbits here. And it definitely looks a little more... Um... Actually, no, no, it's still looking pretty uh, stable, actually, I'd say. So I'm guessing if we uh, just keep, keep making this smaller and smaller, not much is going to happen. Actually, we'll, yeah, we'll have to pause it because I don't want to mess anything up. Oh, there's tools. There we go. So uh, shrink. So we'll, uh, make it really, really small here. Play. Yeah, so um, no matter how close um, it all gets to the sun, um, it's still all the orbits are still fine. But look how close all of them are now. Oh my god! So it's like Trappist One, but with our planets. Like, look at this; they're just all over the place. You can see, um, we'll see the inner planets here. All four of these big boys now. You can see Jupiter out there. Forgot on a flashlight. You can should just to be out. Oh my god! So you can see Jupiter over there, just about. So, you see it's smoking up as well. You see the smoke trail. But, yeah, it's mostly the inner planets where all the uh, the big show's at. We've got a hot dust on Mars. That's looking pretty sweet. But, yeah, let's move on to another scenario. Let's see what would happen if we expanded the orbits. Maybe that would uh, mess the orbits up. I think this time the orbits will change with Mercury since it's getting further. If we put Mercury to where Jupiter normally is, I reckon you um, it will cause problems. So, we're going to increase or expand. So, we need Mercury's orbit to get to where Jupiter's orbit was before so that would be from my estimates around here see the planets are really really far away now so if we look at the sun's hatable zone for instance they're all in the outer solar system all the planets now so let's go and click play i reckon this is gonna this could cause more things or well, it's actually made a binary orbit with something what's the sun orbiting right now sun what are we orbiting in there what is the sun is it play are you gonna i actually don't know why that sun orbits appeared so let's see we've got a really speed up time to see things happen now so is it still going to stay together or not seems like it is i'm surprised i thought it would break apart since tubes is further up it looks like this system is just perfect even if you uh change the um masses of all the objects here like we can expand a few more uh, is this going to do anything or is it just going to be uh, see it could just make it more stable because the objects are getting further and further away from each other every time we expand every object gets further away from each other so, we'll see, the more we expand, oh, a few objects are broken away. I oh, know no, no, they're all good. Um, yeah, the more and more we expand, like I said, the further they, the objects are all getting far away, that means they have less effect on each other. So, nothing's going to happen apart from a few wobbly orbits. So, yeah, the sun is in a binary orbit with Venus now, it seems. Mercury's really close to the sun for some reason now. But, yeah, binary orbit with Venus and the sun now. So, pretty interesting. So, this would have been Saturn. So, Saturn would be in a binary orbit with the sun. Yeah, it's actually cooled down now. How far away is Venus from the sun? 400 AU, so it takes about 8,000 years to go around. So, yeah, yeah, there you go. So, this system is now huge, but overall, the objects or the orbits are still fairly correct to what they originally were. Like, you can see they are wobbling. I still say that's, um, in a way, it's stable, I guess, because none of the objects are completely getting tossed out. I mean, the orbits are just pretty crazy, but they're still staying around the sun there. So, yeah, there we go. To conclude, even if you uh, make it smaller or larger the system still stays in one piece so yeah there we go so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and if you've got any more what if um video ideas let me know down below or in my discord server or private message me um that on discord as well but yeah let me know um um if you've got any more ideas and also here's a link to discord down below in the description of all the videos so yeah there we go there's our solar system there we just have planet 90 hasn't been changed at all but yeah there's our uh, new solar system of all the swapped orbits so yeah like i said hopefully you enjoyed and yeah if you're new subscribe helps on the journey to 6,000 subscribers now geez i can't believe i'm saying that 6,000 subscribers maybe let's set our goal as before the before 2019 yeah let's do that so yeah that's our uh, new goal 
But yeah, just a massive thanks for watching this video, um, guys. It's much, much appreciated. And yeah, let's even go for about 40 likes on this video. And yeah, that is um, pretty much everything. So make sure you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.